Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 29, 2022. If you like to support you, with the hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button above and see our new videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have a really nice day on the NASDAQ up more than 2% and approaching an area of massive resistance. So the lows here in March and the highs of April is kind of where we are testing at the moment. So this is the lows from March and the highs from April. This should offer was basically support in the past. This was resistant. And at this current stage, we should be running into resistant when we get to that area. We're also significantly or stretched in the bullish band. So a pullback should be expected uh, at some point um, in the next, well, a few hours probably. And uh, where we most likely will find support is at the 27 moving average, which is true moving in this direction, 50 moving average moving in this direction. So if we were to drop from here, we may find support and also 50, we may find support breaking below that. Then we basically break to the lows back of the channel. So we were in a really nice channel here in the last re in recent weeks, and we have basically broken above that to the bottom. We basically can see it right here. That is roughly where the 50 moving average is. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is also bullish on the edge of being overbought. Breaking above here, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. So when after our trading, uh, Apple has um, released its earnings and they have basically beaten expectation. Last time I looked, they were up, uh, Apple was trading up more than 3% in after our trading, and Amazon also was up more than 13% after our training, after releasing their uh, their earnings. So that should be a boost, another boost for the tech sector uh, going forward. So let's look at S&P 500, similar thing here. We have the 50 moving average. Uh, uh, now we have the, we have prices way above the, uh, the channel. We have basically broken above that and are entering a similar uh, area to uh, the Nasdaq, where we have the lows from March and the highs from basically from from A and from May. So breaking above this area here, then the 200 moving average comes into play, which is trading at the 4,342 at this point, and uh, a break in uh, to the to the um, to the lows. We have the 50 moving average moving in this direction, so we may see a um, uh, pull back towards this area before going higher. Also the 20 symbol moving average uh, moving in this direction. So we also have a upper trend line and that is fairly close towards where the 50 moving average and the 20 symbol moving average are. Breaking below that, then we may drop all the way down to the very bottom. But um, bad news, every basically bad news that can be thrown at this market has been thrown at this market and we're still going up. So the market is very resilient and the, the lows uh, from um, from the 200 moving average weekly, that probably was the lows uh, that we'll see for a very long time. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is also bullish on the edge of being over, uh, overbought. So let's look at Dow Jones. Dow Jones is up at uh, 32.6 um, at this current stage, approaching an area similar to the NASDAQ and uh, SP 500. Uh, which is the uh, high lows of March and highs of, of May, uh, late April. And uh, yes, we just started testing that. We are, above, we are above the 50, we are above the Bollinger Band and are sign uh, nearly significantly over um, bought. So pullback would make sense at this point. Um, if we continue as we have been, then the drop will just be that more significant. So 50 moving average is looking like trading in this direction. So we may have a pullback towards the 50 before going higher. Taking in the years, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. European markets, DAX fell beginning of the session and then rallied. 50 moving average is the obstacle here. And if we manage to break above the 50, then it's more likely that we'll see something similar to this up towards the 200 moving average. This is kind of the obstacle and the 50 moving average, which are basically in the same area at this point. After that, it's 
all the way up towards the 200, which is at 14,400. To the downside, it's 20 simple, it should offer support. Uh, after that, breaking below back towards the very lows here. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. Japanese Nikkei, we can see that it dropped very significantly, now nearly 1.5%, and then it rallied. And that is a very nice sign for the Nikkei. 200, 200 moving average has been a massive obstacle for the Nikkei um, in the last uh, few months. But given that we fell and then rallied, people are willing to buy uh, this basically dip. So going forward, we may see the 50 moving average moving in this direction, 200 moving in this direction, and we have a golden crossing here, which is a signal of uh, which is very bullish for this market. And therefore, we may see the uh, Nikkei continue rallying to the upside. MACD bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the VIX, and the VIX has um, basically dropped more than 6% today, way below the 200 moving average, which has offered massive resistance support in the past. But we have seen this before. We can go all the way back towards the, in January this year. We can see it basically in, in April this year. We also say, or twice in April. And we are seeing yet again now in July. So uh, we are overstretched, nearly oversold. So we may see a rally, but 20 simple moving average should offer support, resistance, and also the 50 moving average should offer resistance. If we break above here, and then we may go back towards the highs. But as you can see, based on the, all the bad news that can be thrown at the market, has been thrown at the market. So high inflation, increased interest rates, uh, bad economic data with GDP and so on. So, uh, but the financial markets are ahead of the real economy. So, so those GDP numbers don't really have that much effect on, on the financial markets. Uh, short term they do, but long term, no. So other thing that is also remarkable here is the 10 year. So the 10 year has broken support which was roughly around this area here. Tested it several times, now we've broken way below there. So if we rally, that should offer resistance and we'll just continue even lower. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and see that we are most likely heading towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement, which is at 2.427 at this current stage. We're just above the 200 moving average and that would make quite a lot of sense but then it would be nearly part with, or basically part with the Fed rate. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. On the edge of being oversold, and therefore a rally should be expected before going lower. So hope you found this helpful. If you want to support your job by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck, thank you very much.